I would love to take a moment and look at the correlation graph, a highly interactive visual. When I click on it, you can see on a 2D map the names of all the 26 features from our dataset and their degree of correlation. They are represented by a connecting line which has the color between violet and red. Apparently, there are four features which are not correlated at all because they are not connected by any lines. And these features are ID, customer ID, age, and credit utilization ratio. Underneath the correlation graph, you can see a scale that varies from 0 to 1, which represents the degree of correlation between the features. The color scale used for the connecting edges runs from low, violet, to high, red. Variables connected by short red edges tend to be highly correlated. If we drag slowly the left triangle to the right on the horizontal axis, we can observe that its value increases from zero and that the graph updates in real time. The lines which connect features with a smaller correlation value than the newly updated left triangle value disappear. At about 0.60, we can observe that there are only three features correlated among themselves. Amount invested monthly, monthly in-hand salary, and annual income. And if we drag the left triangle even further on the horizontal axis, up to the value 0 0.99, we can see that the two features, monthly in-hand salary and annual income, are still connected which indicates that these two features are highly correlated. On the correlation graph, you can also click on the Reset the Scale button to set the horizontal axis back to its default values. Additionally, for each visual in Driverless AI, you can also download the graph in a CVG format or click on the Help button for additional information. Let's exit the correlation graph by clicking on the X right top button of the view and come back to the visualizations page. It is not the purpose of this class to go through each one of the graphs. So in case you are interested in a more detailed explanation, feel free to consult the H2O documentation on this topic, as well as refer to our H2O University platform for more insightful content.